Hey Isaac, it's Mr. Winter. We're going to try Amazing Grace. And first I'll talk through it just briefly. Alright, I added some text and I added some slurs. So, Amazing Grace. So that'll help with the smoothness and the bowing, how it works out. I'm going to change this slur right here. Slur right there. And slur there. Okay. So look up the, the, here at the top, these, just play the notes the first time through, and then the sing the lyrics and, and play the notes on the second time through. So you can see here, they've got that first ending, and then once you reach the first ending and take the repeat, that's when you start singing Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. Then we're gonna go the, take the second ending and the pink notes are what you'll play on the viola, and the top line with the lyrics is what you'll sing. Here, let me do a quick demonstration of that, just so you see how it works. And then I'll talk about why. I'll talk about why I'm, we're doing this. When we've been there 10,000 years, Bright shining as the sun. So that's how it'll go. Why? Well, I found that singing while I play music affects the audience a lot more than just playing it. When I just play a song that they know, they like it. It's good. They'll sing along with it. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll hum along with it softly. But if I sing it while I play it, more people sing along. I've, I've, <laughs> it's it's kind of cool and like they enjoy it. And I guess maybe since I'm singing it, they feel like it's easier for them to sing too. You know how that works. There's some a bunch of people doing something already, or one person leading it, then it's easier to join in. So not many people. Uh, sing and play strings at the same time so it's kind of a unique a unique thing that I I'm excited to share and um, excited to see some students may take to it you know I, I'm excited to see if you'll take to it <laughs> um, one more cool thing about it is that y you can play you can be singing one note at a time and it, and you play two notes at a time so that equals three notes at a time like with the bright shining as the sun, it creates a nice full sound. Sun. Wait, hold on. Sun. So really, it's like a it's like a C major chord with your voice plus the two notes on the violin. So I enjoy making music that way. It's a rich experience. All right. With no, now that we've explained that. Let's get started. Yeah, that's a good tempo. Get started doing this. And yeah, good luck. Have fun. I'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think that should be it. Yeah, okay. Here we go. One, two, three, three, go. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
There it is. So for, yeah, I hope that that works out. <laughs> It'd be fun to see how it goes on our next lesson. Um, yeah, so you notice that your voice was singing the melody here, and for the most part, you were just playing a single long note. You were just playing long notes to accompany yourself in the, on the viola. Now, that might be easier to do, but you can experiment with different rhythm accompaniments. Like, you could go, When we've been there 10,000 years. That might be easier for you than just going, when we've been there ten thousand. So the notes that are in the viola, the notes are correct, but the rhythms, you can play around with the rhythm however you want. You could even do, when we've been there ten thousand. You could even, like, you know, just do the same rhythm that you're singing if that's easier. So just wanted to let you know that that's available. And then another thing is, for the lyrics, I was considering changing the word wretch because, <laughs> you know, that's kind of a, I don't know if you know what that means, but the, I thought, oh, that might be a discouraging word to leave in there. But I then, you know, I decided to just leave it in there because, I mean, ideas are out there. Um, but, I mean, some people believe that they're really bad, and so I didn't want you to think that. <laughs> I didn't. I, I mean, I didn't want you to think that you're a wretch or that every people are wretches and, and are bad. But I don't know. There's some some um, some Christ, some Christian groups do um, value the the teaching, or they believe that human nature is completely bad or, or corrupt or wretched or something. Um, that can be helpful for some people to believe that. For others, no. Um, for myself, I know that that was a tough thing for me to handle. So I was considering changing the, the lyric from wretch to like a person or a man or something. But then I decided, heck, you know, that's how the, that's, that is the word that the author wrote. And I figured, hey, might as well just leave it in there and talk and just talk about it. So. Whatever you believe about about human nature, that's that's up to you. You know, you can decide for yourself. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that I was thinking about that and sensitive to it. So, all right, have fun with this one. Talk to you later. Bye.